suit, shirt, tie, dress, blouse, skirt, jacket, t-shirt, trousers, jeans, jumper, cardigan, gloves, swimming suit, bikini, pajamas, footwear, boots, slippers, socks, shoes, flip-flops, colors, white, black, blue, red, yellow, green, purple, orange, brown, gray, pink, shades, light or dark blue, light or dark red, light or dark yellow, light or dark green, light or dark purple, light or dark orange, light or dark brown, light or dark gray, light or dark pink. Patterns, checked, spotted, striped, floral, plate, materials, cotton, wool, silk, leather, polyester, denim. Listen to the text and answer the questions. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. Every season there are new clothes and new fashions in the shops. Colors and styles keep changing. One season black is the in color, but the next season everyone is wearing orange or pink or gray. One season tight fitting clothes are fashionable, and the next season baggy clothes are in. The length of women's skirts goes up and down from year to year. In the 1960s, mini skirts became very fashionable and women wore skirts 20 or 30 centimeters above the knee. A few years later, maxi skirts became trendy and then you had to wear skirts 20 or 30 centimeters below the knee. Each season there is always a correct length and if your skirt is just a little too long or too short, some people will think that you are very unfashionable. Men have similar problems with their shirts. Some years it is fashionable to wear very small collars. Another year small collars become outdated and large button-down collars are trendy. A shirt that you once thought was very trendy can look old-fashioned a few years later. And your father's shirts, which you always thought were very conservative and traditional, can suddenly become stylish. Keeping up with the fashions can be very expensive. If you wait long enough, the clothes that are out of fashion today will be back in fashion tomorrow. 
Yesterday's clothes are tomorrow's new fashions.